On one side, a monster with the largest eyes in the animal kingdom, capable of seeing in total darkness and armed with deadly tentacles equipped with rotating hooks that can pierce steel. On the other, a silent killer that can live more than 400 years, resistant to extreme pressures, with jaws capable of tearing perfectly circular chunks of flesh with a single movement. When these two titans meet in the deepest and coldest waters of the planet, only one will survive. What happens at the bottom of the ocean stays at the bottom of the ocean. But today, we're going to reveal it. In human history, few animals have inspired as much terror and fascination as the monsters of the deep. The colossal squid, a being so extraordinary that it gave rise to the myth of the kraken, the sea monster from Norse folklore capable of destroying entire ships with its gigantic tentacles. And while many dream that the Megalodon might still exist in the unexplored depths, few know the true titan of the icy seas, the Greenland shark, an ancient predator that was already swimming through the oceans when the Roman Empire still dominated the world. Imagine these two colossi on a collision course in the abyssal depths, in an environment where no human has ever witnessed what really happens. Who would prevail in this confrontation between the most fearsome predators of the abyss? The Colossal Squid, the Tentacular Leviathan. The Colossal Squid is not just another cephalopod. It's the largest invertebrate existing on our planet. While its main body, known as the mantle, can reach an impressive 10 feet in length, its total size, including stretched tentacles, can exceed an incredible 33 feet. Some experts suggest that even larger specimens, up to 46 feet, may exist in the unexplored depths. Its confirmed weight reaches almost half a ton, 1,090 pounds of muscle, tentacles, and a highly developed nervous system. And through indirect evidence, such as beaks found in sperm whale stomachs, scientists estimate that specimens of 1,320 to 1,540 pounds may exist. But what truly distinguishes this creature are its eyes, with a diameter of 10.6 inches, larger than dinner plates, they are the largest eyes of any animal on planet Earth. These giant eyes evolved to detect even the faintest bioluminescence in the abyssal depths, allowing the squid to see predators approaching at impressive distances. Its hunting arsenal is equally extraordinary. Eight arms and two elongated tentacles, all equipped with sharp hooks, some of them rotating capable of gripping prey with devastating force. And at the center of this deadly circle, a beak similar to a parrot's, but inverted and made of chitin, a material so resistant that it can cut virtually anything it encounters. The Greenland Shark, the Millennial Predator. On the other side of this confrontation, we have the Greenland Shark, also known as the Grey Shark. This is not just another shark, it's possibly the longest-lived vertebrate on the planet. Growing at only 0.4 inches per year, these predators can live more than 400 years. This means that some of the Greenland sharks swimming through the oceans today were already alive when Shakespeare was writing his works. Despite their extremely slow metabolism, these monsters can reach 21 feet in length, similar to the Great white shark and weigh 2,200 pounds. Even larger specimens, reaching 24 feet and 3,086 pounds, are considered possible due to their extreme longevity. Their skin is covered with dermal denticles, sharp tooth-like structures that not only reduce, drag during swimming but also provide natural armor so efficient that it can puncture diving suits. Although their eyes are relatively small and frequently parasitized, making them partially blind, this predator doesn't rely on vision. Its skull is filled with ampullae of Lorenzini, special sensory organs that detect minimal variations in temperature, salinity, and electric fields. Its nostrils are so sensitive that they can detect a drop of blood hundreds of yards away. Its dentition is a masterpiece of evolution, sharp upper teeth to hold prey and saw-shaped lower teeth, combined with a circular head movement that literally punches perfectly round pieces from its victim's flesh. 
confrontation scenario. Of course, it's important to recognize that we're dealing with a hypothetical situation. The colossal squid primarily inhabits the icy waters of the Antarctic Ocean, while the Greenland shark dominates the Arctic depths and northern Europe. However, science offers us all the tools to analyze this epic duel between the monsters from opposite depths of our planet. And that's exactly what we'll do now. Imagine this scenario, in the dark and icy depths, under the crushing pressure of miles of water, two adult females, both the colossal squid and the Greenland shark, the largest of their species, meet in a deadly confrontation. Confrontation Analysis, Size and Weight In terms of total length, the colossal squid has the advantage, potentially exceeding 33 feet when fully extended, compared to the shark's 21 to 24 feet. However, when talking about body mass, the Greenland shark has a significant advantage, 2,200 pounds against approximately 1,090 pounds for the squid. This weight difference could be crucial in a direct confrontation. In this aspect, the advantages seem to neutralize each other, but the shark's mass difference is still double or more than the squid's, so it tends to have an advantage here. Body Protection the colossal squid, like all mollusks, has a relatively soft body, protected only by its skin and musculature. The Greenland shark, on the other hand, has those sharp dermal denticles covering its entire body, natural armor so efficient that even sperm whales, after preying on these sharks, show teeth corroded by contact with this abrasive skin. In this aspect, the shark has a clear advantage. Attack Arsenal and Senses The shark essentially relies on its powerful jaws and specialized dentition, capable of tearing circular chunks of flesh. The squid in turn has a more diverse arsenal, eight arms and two tentacles equipped with hooks, some rotating, capable of gripping and immobilizing prey, as well as an extremely strong and sharp beak. In terms of senses, the squid's giant eyes offer exceptional vision in the dark depths, while the shark relies on its electroreception and ultra-sensitive sense of smell. In this category, the colossal squid has the advantage due to the diversity of its arsenal. Metabolism and Hunting Strategy Both animals have extremely slow metabolisms, adapted to cold and deep waters. The Greenland shark is one of the slowest swimmers among sharks, moving at just 0.67 miles per hour, although it can reach bursts of up to 2.24 miles per hour. This slowness doesn't prevent it from being a versatile predator. Its stomach has been found containing remains of seals, narwhals, and even land animals such as dogs and polar bears, suggesting that besides being an opportunistic predator, it's also an efficient scavenger. The colossal squid is also not the fast and aggressive hunter many imagine. Studies reveal an extremely slow pace of life, with energy needs 300 to 600 times lower than those of whales. It's believed to be primarily an ambush predator, remaining motionless waiting for smaller prey. A single 11-pound fish could sustain an adult colossal squid for 200 days. Both animals are capable of short bursts of speed when necessary. The shark for hunting, the squid to escape predators like sperm whales. In this aspect, the characteristics balance each other out. The final confrontation. If you're enjoying this analysis of these incredible deep sea monsters, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to receive more content like this. Now to the moment everyone's been waiting for. Who would win this titanic confrontation? The confrontation between these two ancient predators would undoubtedly be a slow but deadly battle. The shark would probably approach slowly, relying on its ampullae of Lorenzini to detect the electrical impulses emitted by the squid's muscles. The squid, with its enormous eyes, would observe the predator's approach in absolute darkness. The shark would try to use its superior body mass and short bursts of speed to overcome the squid and apply its deadly bite. 
A single well-positioned bite could be enough to tear off a vital piece of the squid. On the other hand, the colossal squid would try to use its tentacles and arms equipped with hooks to grip the shark. Although these hooks may not easily penetrate the shark's rough skin, as they would a whale's softer skin, the squid could potentially immobilize the predator. Like many oceanic sharks, it's possible that the Greenland shark needs constant movement to breathe efficiently. If the squid managed to completely immobilize it, it could induce tonic immobility, a trance-like state, and then use its powerful beak to inflict fatal damage. However, the shark's body mass advantage and its extremely resistant skin could be decisive. Although it's an unpredictable confrontation, especially considering the extreme pressure and total darkness of the depths where both live, the scale seems to tip slightly in favor of the Greenland shark. It's important to remember that there are smaller shark species that regularly feed on cephalopods, and there is evidence suggesting that even the great white shark may hunt giant squid. Additionally, it was discovered that Pacific sleeper sharks, which have a lifestyle similar to the Greenland shark, had remains of giant and colossal squid in their stomachs, although these were probably carrion, since squid have short lives and die naturally after about five years. Conclusion Based on all the characteristics analyzed, and considering evolutionary and environmental factors, this epic confrontation in the depths would present approximately a 55% chance of victory for the Greenland, shark against 45% for the colossal squid. Of course, we'll never know with absolute certainty, and perhaps that's for the best. Part of the fascination with these titans of the deep lies precisely in the mystery that surrounds them. And you, what do you think? Who would win this epic confrontation? Leave your opinion in the comments, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like, and also vote in the poll that appears on the screen. It was a pleasure sharing this dive into the depths with you. A big hug and see you in the next video.